Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem. Find the element that appears once in a sorted array and every other element is appearing twice. So let's understand the uh, question at first. So basically you will be given an array like this, correct? And if you carefully observe in this array, it's a sorted array, right? That's the first thing. And the next thing you observe is every element is appearing twice apart from this number two. So you need to figure out this number which exactly appears once in a given sorted array. Now if this question comes up in an interview, which is the first solution you should tell the interviewer. It should be that you will be linearly iterating on this array and you'll be zoring all the numbers, right? You're going to do a zor of all the numbers. Now since you know that zor of similar numbers are, is going to give you zero. So since every number appears twice, everyone's zor will be zero and the only number that you'll be that will be left out will be two so if you do a zor of all the numbers in an array the last the end zor will be the number itself and what will be the time complexity of that approach it's a very simple one b go of n and what will be the space complexity b go of one so that is what will be for the naive approach now you have to optimize the naive approach and in order to do that which algorithm comes to your mind it's a sorted array, right? And you have to figure out the number that uh, appears once. So the first algorithm that strikes your brain is definitely binary search, correct? So how to apply binary search over here? That's a very simple one. What you'll do is you'll try to apply binary search and try to find the breakpoint. Yes, like this is the breakpoint. Try to find this breakpoint such that to the left of it, all the elements appear twice. And from the right, your single element starts appearing and then all the twice elements. So we're going to try to find this breakpoint. And in order to find this breakpoint, we're just going to use a simple observation. Now, if you look at the uh, look at the right, you will see this is odd index and this is even index. Like four is appearing twice, correct? So four's first instance is at an odd index, whereas four's second instance is at an even index. So on the left half, if you observe, can I say, the first instance of any number, let's a uh, one that appears twice is at an even index. And the second instance is at an odd index. Can I say that? Yes. So let's write that off. So I've written down the observations. Now let's try to do a binary search and try to find this breakpoint. So initially keep your low at the zeroth index and keep your high at the second last index. Now why second last index? I will explain you in uh, by taking one more example, but as of now, just uh, keep it over there. So what is the initial middle? Can I say the initial middle will be pointing to zero plus seven by two? That's uh, this three. Now you just need to check. Is it the left half or not? You just need to check this. So what you see is you're standing at an odd index and at an odd index means second instance, correct? So the first instance should be on its left. So what do you see? If this is the second instance, if this is the second instance, does three appear on its left? I see that it doesn't appear. So what you can say is this is not the left half. Hence, I'm currently on the right half. So what you will do is you will take this high and you'll say, hey, please go and find my left half. So I will go here. So high will go one lesser than middle. Now you're currently standing a uh, low at zero, high at two. So what you do is you try to figure out which is your middle and you will see that your middle points to one now. So let's point that middle to one. So middle is pointing to one, correct? So your middle is pointing to one, correct? Now you're currently at the odd index. So how do you check if it's a left half? So if you're at the odd index, it is the second instance. So on the left should be the first instance. On the left, is there the first instance? Yes, there is a one on the left. So what I can say is I'm standing on the left half. And in order to find this breakpoint, we have to shrink the left half. Yes, we have to move this low on the right. We have to shrink the left half. So let's move this low onto the right. So onto the right means one head of the middle. So a low is going to point to the second index. So let's take it over there. So I'm currently standing at the second index, correct? You again try to find out the middle. So let's find the middle. So the middle comes out to be two itself, correct? Now, in order to check if this is the left half or not, you're currently at an even index. So even index means the second instance 
should be appearing on the odd that means the next so if you if you're standing here you look out at the next and that's not the same instance of two so which means you're standing on the right half if you're standing on the right half it's trying to shrink the right half so what you did was you will take the high and you'll shrink it that means you'll move one before mid so your high will go over there so once your high went over there what you did was you basically shrinked the right half yes you just reduced the right half and ultimately you reached an index right before the right half and you also shrink the lower portion that is the left half so when you shrink the left half the low was pointing to the index which is exactly after the left half and the high was pointing to an index which is exactly before the right half so you were able to find the breakpoint and that is nothing but the low because low is the index which is containing the element that appears once so you can easily say that i have found my answer once the low crosses high because low will be standing immediately after the left half and the high will be standing immediately before the before the right half so if low is standing immediately after the left half so that means it's the single element because i know the half gets diversed when at the single element so we get our answer as a of low will be our answer so let's take this example where our element appears at the last index and if you remember we took our low to be the uh, zeroth index and we took high to be our second last index so why does uh, the algorithm work if you take low over here and high over here the reason is if you're trying to shrink the left half if you're trying to shrink the left half ultimately the low is going to stand over here correct if if this is your left half which is the case over here this is your left half so if you're shrinking the left half shrinking the left half so your low will automatically come and stand over here this is the thought process behind taking the high over here because just in case just in case this was the last guy like this was the element at the last index because just in case the answer was at the last index high will never get shrinked high will never get shrinked and low will automatically shrink its left half left half and it will automatically reach here and once it reaches here low will cross high and you can say that five is my answer that's the whole intuition behind taking low over over at the zeroth index and high over the fifth index correct that is the second last so i hope you have understood the intuition so the time complexity will be super simple since you are doing a simple binary search i can search a log base n and the space complexity will be big of 1 because we are not using any external space just you have to do is you have to check if it's a left half or not so i'm going to show you a cool trick so that you don't have to write multiple stuffs like if odd index if even index no i'm going to show you a very cool trick so before moving on to the next part of the video let me tell you about coding ninjas now coding ninjas is one of the largest coding education company and they have taught around 50k plus students now they offer you courses in programming in different languages like c++ java python they also have courses for machine learning android development data science and web dev the content quality is exceptional as it is made by experts from iit stanford amazon and facebook they do offer you one is to one doubt resolving support and the average doubt solving time that they take is is literally the best in the market now since the courses are really well structured and so many have benefited from it i guess you should give it a try and if you feel so do use the link in the description to avail a discount which will be added above the one which is already present in the website so guys go and check it out i'll be discussing the c++ code and the java code is exactly identical it's just an array that has been taken so you can find the java code link in the description so let's understand this code so basically you are given uh, the nums array or vector and what i've initially done is i have initialized my low to be 0 and the high to be uh, the second last index now as we do in binary search we have taken low less than equal to high and we have done low plus high right shift of 2 that means a divided by 2 now in order to check if it's a left half if it's an odd index that means it's a second instance second instance and i need to check on the left if the first 
instance of that number is there or not correct but will you write a separate condition for odd index and then for even index no instead of that if you use this zor property correct so you know one thing any number any number if it's an odd index because if middle is an odd index and if you do odd zor 1 the number that you will get is definitely yes i repeat it's definitely the even index before that let's take an example assume assume you are having 3 okay assume you are having 3 so that's an odd index which means second instance so you need to check if at even index you have the first instance or not so if you write 3 that's 1 1 and if you do a zor with 1 the value that you will get is 2 you see the value that you get is 2 and which is nothing but the even index before 3 and that is what you need to check in order to understand if it's a left half or not now how does this work if it's uh, an even index just assume just assume you are standing at let's say 4 you're standing at 4 middle is 4 so in order to check if it's a right half you just need to check the next index if that's the second instance so you are currently at 4 so if you write down 4 that's 100 zero, zero. and if you do a zor with 1 you will get 101 one. that's nothing but 5 so very simple if it's an even number you will automatically get the next odd if it's an odd number you will automatically get the previous even so you don't have to write multiple if statements you can simply write nums mid equal to equal to nums mid zor 1 because that is going to give you the previous even or the next odd so you can easily understand depending on your situation if you are on the left half or not if you are on the left half you definitely need to shrink the left half so you move mid plus one if you are on the right you definitely need to shrink the right half so that's a mid minus one you keep on doing at the end you know low will be immediately standing after the left half so that's going to be your answer so guys i hope you have understood the entire intuition explanation as well as this wonderful trick just in case you did please please like this video and if you're new to our channel do consider subscribing bye bye take care